Hey guys, in this episode, I'll show you all the places that we went to in Osaka, Japan, showing you where we went and what we did. Upon arriving in Osaka, we tried this egg tart right here. Apparently, this is one of the most popular ones you can get in Asia. We checked into the hotel, after which we ventured down to Osaka Castle. Given this is Golden Week, there were a lot of people here and even a bazaar. From the bottom to the top of Osaka Castle, it takes about 15 minutes if you walk leisurely. But once you get up there, it is quite a sight to see. And here it is, right here. Given Osaka Castle was at the top of a hill, we were able to see quite an amazing view of the city from the top. After which, we went down to see the market, which was crowded, busy, and they even had a live music band playing. Then, we took the train to Namba Station, which is pretty much quite a lot of shops as you see here. And upon exit, we walked down to Dotomburi, which is where you can find the Glico Man and a lot of food stalls. Yep, this right here in Dotamburi is one of the most popular streets to go to if you want to eat food. There is a lot of it, there's so many options. And we decided on kushikatsu, which is interesting because it's essentially a katsu version of a lot of different foods like beef, mushroom, etc. And it looks like this. You dip this in a common sauce, which ultimately gets used over the day, so you can't double dip. After that, we just walked around the area of which we saw a river like this. And also this popular spot right here, which you see the ever so popular Glico Man, with which people like to take photos around. At night, this place looks absolutely stunning. Bright, lit, just like being in New York City. And if you walk up the street from there, there's a huge used luxury market where you can see Richard Mille watches, and even Hermes, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Rolex, etc. Later on at night, we went to a supermarket where we saw things marked down to 40% off. Pretty cool. Other notable places in Osaka include this okonomiyaki shop, which served the best okonomiyaki that I've ever tasted. And this is it right here. I absolutely loved it. Also had some ramen, like this Ipudo Shiromaru base. And that's pretty much it. That's what we saw in Osaka. From here, we go to Nara in the next video, and even Kyoto in a video after that. Yep, follow me on this Japan trip. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.